Okie dokie. So, like I said, but I gotta say it again, because now we're recording. Uh, going to be playing some Canadian Highlander. Uh, currently, there's an all-access event going on uh, where you just... Everybody gets free access to all the cards in the world. I've got a couple of decks I'm going to cycle through. Uh, I wanted to play this one to start things off because... I played it on a recent North 100 showdown. I'm going to give some spoilers, by the way. If you haven't watched the showdown, even if you figure out uh, the result, it is, I would say it's worth watching for entertainment value alone. Uh, I'm going to link it in chat right now. Um, I played against Nelson. I played this deck called Rat Scam. Uh, this is a mono black attrition mid-range value engine deck that plays every ravenous rats uh, and a series of other cheap evasive, uh, not cheap evasive creatures, cheap like value engines, you know? We got our Bob in here. We got some broken cards, Dothy Voidwalker, Orcish Bowmasters. Um, we have some of the uh, scam cards as well, like Undying Evil and Feign Death and uh, Not Dead After All. We have some Village Rights cards in the form of Village Rights and Corrupted Conviction. Could maybe even play Plum the Forgotten, or I think I'm on Deadly Dispute, am I not? Oh, I'm not on Deadly Dispute. Could maybe be on Deadly Dispute. But we've got some... Uh, got some interesting cards here. This is... Uh... Long story short, I kicked Nelson's ass with this deck. Uh, this is a build that I... I was looking for something to play. I... Uh, we recorded this North 100 Showdown. Skull Clamp is in here. Uh, we recorded this... North 100 Showdown um, when at a time when I knew there were going to be changes coming forward to Canadian Highlander. If you missed it, there's a huge amount of changes that got put forward uh, to the format. And so it was kind of like, look, these big, massive changes are going to happen. Um, I, I just need, I want to play something goofy, you know? It's just, I'm going to just play some, some weird shit. And I thought, I've been thinking about a deck like this, uh, kind of a flip on the mono white rune your evening, which is like a, what if we just played a bunch of relentless rats or ravenous rats and ways to like recur them and we rip apart our opponent's hand and then we grind them out with the initiative or whatever. And I never thought it would be that great. And it, it really isn't, but you know, thought it'd be fun to put together. And then I found a deck list that came second at the, is it Newport? Newport, Ontario? I think it's Newport in Ontario. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, I saw a list that came second at their uh, monthly that was like an eight, they called it eight rat. Uh, where it was a bunch of ravenous rats and like uh, the rack and uh, those kind of cards. Like it was like a like a poxy kind of deck, which we actually played recently. We played a slightly different version without the ravenous rats. Um, but yeah, there's a, there was a version of this. And I was like, okay, cool. Maybe I can like combine the two ideas and make something like this. Uh, so here it is. I would normally be playing Deadbeat Attendant which is the two mana one one when it ETBs, you open an attraction. Attractions are not currently available on Magic Online. So I am playing Shriek Maw instead, um, which seems fine. It, Shriek Maw combos with the, uh, the Undying Evil style of effects, obviously works with Dance of Dead, Animate Dead, that sort of thing. We have Recurring Nightmare in here. Uh, I don't have any big, big idiots, but like Recurring Nightmare on Shriek Maw or Hoarding Broodlord or Grief or an initiative creature is usually just good enough. Um, I'm a little... <laughs> don't think I should play this Thorn of the Black Rose because it's kind of uh, terrible if my opponent gets it. 
and just keeps it. There, but you know what? This deck is mostly just a, a, a bunch of bullshit. So we'll see how it goes. Croc, welcome back for the 46th month. Uh, wait, should I be queuing with cat travel this time? I'm not even going to dignify that with a response, but thank you uh, for uh, everything you do around here and the support and um, stop that. And uh, yeah, let's play. I'm going to swap decks uh, throughout the day. I've got some other stuff planned. Uh, and I'm going to start off with playing Jules. Uh, Jules, please fight me. What is Hoarding Broodlord doing? Uh, it's getting convoked by my little idiots and is providing a cool uh, spicy reanimation target as well as... Oh, wait, I can see your deck. I'm going to cheat. Oh, wait, no, is this my deck? Oh, it's trying to load up the, the LCI deck. That's why. I don't want to play that. I want to play Rat Scam. I want to play Rat Scam. Oh, and my points are Soul Ring, Demonic Tutor, Mox. Uh, oh, did I change? I might not have changed it. I want to be on Soul Ring, Demonic Tutor, uh, Mox Jet. TGD 993. Uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? Uh, I'm going to keep this. It is still uh, freezing in Victoria, British Columbia, although I think it is a little bit uh, nicer out. Temperature in Victoria, BC. Oh yeah, this is, it's only minus one. All right, this is normal. Past couple of days, uh, we had some, uh, we had a six decade low. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can rock with this. And this hand's gonna be reasonable to keep uh, well I'm gonna play this death right shaman our washer is still not working our washing machine is still a little frozen cast off the green mana pass if this is your first time tuning into a Canadian Highlander stream, or if it's your first time in the wild, uh, I'm going to link the... I mean, there's a website, actually, that I can just do this. <coughs> Excuse me. But there's also a points update that happened recently. Um, the points changes were Ancestral Recall going to 8 points, 4th Aerolingus going to 1 point, being added to the points list, and then reductions on... Demonic Tutor, Gifts Ungiven, uh, Natural Order, Spell Seeker, Strip Mine, Birthing Pod, Umezawa's Jite? I think that's all of them. You're bolting my Dothy Voidwalker? This is unbelievable. Or my Deathrite Shaman. That's still unbelievable. Refuse to believe it. Ooh. Well, I'm going to play a Dothy Voidwalker. This card seems pretty good. This isn't Chandelar. Kind of looks like Chandelar. Opt. Hmm. We have the sick non bow of Dothy Voidwalker, Yarx Fenlurker. Play on Jeskai? Probably. I don't... I could play out this Lily. My two decks are lands and blue red X and the points change completely mocked my normal points packages for both. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have time to brew uh, a new deck today. I'm probably going to save it for a North 100 showdown. But I want to brew, like, turbo lands combo. My party is at one. Mr. Bibbs, are you the person that was talking about acquisitions agent in the comments? <laughs> oh, XL Sabine's wreck. Oh, are they on, like, slushy? You are not. Okay.
Thought Scour mill you is bold. I feel like they might be on the Jeskai breach list. It's a one, two rat bear minimum. Yeah, it's just a, it's a one, two rat. I'm playing all the rats that I can get. I'm not on chittering rats, but you know. Ooh. The vintage draft token. Hmm. Getting used to Magic Online, the first thing you should do when you're playing Magic Online is uh, point and click. Don't use the the hotkeys. Just point and click. Click through everything like this. Um, the second thing you should do is make sure that you have the adequate stops. Uh, you might not want to put too many stops. kind of just want to keep this Undying Evil and this Reanimate. Or I might even crack this and keep up Undying Evil. How do you leave when your opponent disconnects? Well, if you've won the game, then you can just like exit out of that. If you haven't won the game. They didn't hold Reacher that turn, so I'm just going to do this now. <gasps> Luris. I'm going to play that. I didn't mean to apologize. Was the big calendar change you were talking about the recent point change? Yes. Yes, it was. Uh, I'm going to play out this Liliana. I think I want to bait with a, with this card. Put an uptick. One game one, assuming they can see the whole match. If they did, it would tell you. It would be like, you've won the match. Yeah, massive changes. Some of them are housekeeping. Some of them are like, make these changes, see, see how people react, see if this actually achieves what we are looking to achieve. Um, and then move on from there. They're hitting land drops, but I they're not hitting the colors. I'm going to try to hit another rat. Abusing magic. Yeah. How dare. No. Worst case, Ontario, I can just get back death right. I think I'll do that. I could also pump my Yarox Fenlurker. I think I want to do that. Uh, the Mana Trader subscription for Canlander is, yeah, you select the Commander package, which is very funny. Um, but it works. It's great. It's like 450 tickets. And the only caveat is that you can only rent one of any given card, <laughs> which, you know. Obviously not an issue for us. Oh, it tells you the party down here? I didn't know that. That's why Mr. Bibbs brought it up. I didn't, I had no idea that this, why does it do this? Is it because I have a card with party in my deck? That's pretty funny. Uh, oh, intuition, a little awkward, but I guess Dothy Voidwalker makes it okay. Uh, wearing boots? Subscribe for six months in advance. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the support. That's incredibly generous of you. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? <clears throat> what are these bananas for? Does Jules Dex have a lightning helix? No. Lightning helix? Uh, red, white, instant, deal three damage, gain three life. I snagged this from Kathleen after our draft on the Friday Night Paper Fight. The old bordered foil lightning helix. It's very pretty. I have to see if Ravnica Remastered comes in German. Yeah, it's, it's very, very nice. I assume Ravnica Remastered comes in German. Card market. Oh, what? Am I getting high tided? There's just no way, right? They found a bunch of islands. I'm so confused what's going on, but I'm a little worried.
I'm a little worried. We do have Luris to be able to rebuild. Sure does. You had a German draft on Friday. <sighs> hmm. Okay. I don't know what they were up to. I have an idea. Just guy breach. The Savine's reclamation is the big, the big oofa doofa. You found a German time spiral from Saga in your collection. Ooh, that's a nice card to have. My graveyard, she was sick. Oh no. Uh, I'll keep this. We got a rat. We got a saw in half on our rat. We got an undying malice on our rat. Hell no. But banana bread? Careful study. Uh oh. <clears throat> Are they on high tide? Are the tides high? Ooh, we can dance to the dead, they're Peregrine Drake. <laughs> oh shit. Not high tide. I mean we can actually you know, we might have an alright matchup against high tide. <laughs> we just have a lot of discard. Oh no. So they're probably on breach tide. Dance of the dead on the Peregrine Drake for like a um, for uh, a, a boost in mana. Or I could also just get this Troll of Khazad Doom down. Is that worth it? I think I want to attack their hand a little bit. Take your time. Just don't you dare apologize. Like, I think I want to Elder Fang. I could have just Urborged here. Urborg cycle this troll. Because maybe the damage doesn't matter. <laughs> go, my rats, go! <laughs> Personal tutor. Your own personal tutor. I could also dance of the dead their peregrine drake. Float a bunch of mana. And then um Thorn of the Black Rose. <laughs> no, they get to see my secrets. They get to see my saw in half. Half the creature's power. Toughness is half the creature's uh, toughness round up. Okay. My favorite German magic card, like in general, or the one that I own? If they're ones that I own, I have a I have a soft spot for um I mean I I obviously I no I mean not obviously. I really like my German foil uh or sorry, no. I I this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. I have a German foreign black bordered volcanic island that I like because it's I like volcanic island. It's like my favorite dual land. Um, and it's my first FBB duel. And uh, I like that quite a bit. But I think it's my German foil Academy Rector because that was a gift. Uh, sent by a member of the community very early on into in, into me streaming. Like, very early on, I received it. 
Um, and that was a big, like, holy shit. Like, this is, it was not overwhelming, but it was a big, like, oh my god, this is, this is wild. Uh, I'm missing out on a damage by doing this. I should have done this post-combat. Should have done this post combat. They might bounce my Elder Fang Disciple. If they do that, that's okay. It gets a card out of their hand. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to go all in with the Undying Malice. <laughs> but, you know. I could saw in half the Drake, yeah. But I kind of want to get these. Do people ever ask you to sign their cards? All the time. All the time. That's a, a large part of why I, I'm at events. Is, uh, or that's a large part of what I do at events. Is people, you know, signing cards or play mats or taking photos and uh, talking shop and all that. Genuine, oh no, oh no. realgames.ca uh, Welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, just a heads up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all 19 people that want to fight. <laughs> I'm going to likely be streaming Canliner again on... Uh, oh, my goodness. Um, I could draw something. I can get another Swamp out of my deck if I do this. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just... That's a hell of a last card. Ooh, that's a hell of a magic card too. We got a dark ritual. This might be a little tough. <laughs> um, I don't think I actually untapped this. I think now the game's changed. I think I just sack it to a village raids. It's dark ritual. I could have maybe played out this Phyrexian Tower. Uh, just to make sure I'm not getting... Not getting hit... By a force of will. Or, uh, well, in that, in that spot, I guess the spell appears. Uh, no worries if I can't. Can I? Am I coming to Amsterdam? I will be at Amsterdam, but I'm going to uh, say one way or another, I will be at Amsterdam, so as to not confirm uh, a variety of things. There's the high tide. That seemed that was a pretty bad draw seven from them. I think I'm taking high tide. I'm gonna take the high tide. I'm gonna play Bowmasters now. Because I know they got counter spells. How's the rats? Oh, what up, Thomas? Oh, we're ratting, you know. They could bolt here. I could bolt my bowmasters. <clears throat> if they go to bolt the bowmasters, you know I keep that thing on me. <laughs> this fucking deck. This is a deck that I would like to try and win uh, Monday night with this year. 
I think it would be pretty funny. I'll rack up some W's with real decks and then I'll uh, move to the garbage, but this, this is one that I think would be pretty funny to win with. <clears throat> How many autograph books have I... Have I seen people bringing for signatures since Unfinity? Uh, I think I've signed f less than 10, more than five. It's probably close to 10 though. The Lure community really likes unsets, right? Disrespectful. <clears throat> Did you play on Monday, Thomas? There's somebody I, oh, you had to play in the playoff? Oh, how come I haven't heard anything about this playoff? Who's, who's qualified? Or who didn't qualify, I guess, right? It was a playoff to kick out one person? Chris? Oh, that stinks. That would have been so hyped to have Chris Sutherland at the top eight. That would have fucking ruled. Plans for a lure stream of it? Uh, yes, but nothing's written in stone right now. That's more of a, I need the information from the community about who's playing and then I can actually message people. That might be a thing to send out, uh... Today? Tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll invent some blueprints. Talking big damage. Big damage. Um, I could reanimate the troll. I could reanimate an Elder Fang Disciple. They have extra lands that they could pitch. I think I would rather reanimate the troll. I could reanimate Thorn, actually. That's kind of hot. Because then I can... There's some instant speed cards that we could draw here that we that would be pretty good. Yeah, it's sad no matter who goes home, but like, you know, the story of Chris being able to, uh, along his path of recovery, right, being able to show up, qualify, uh, show up, qualify the year end is, I mean, that's a, that's just, that's fucking gold. It's, that's emotional right there. What if we replace the really bad mono black creatures in the list with decent red ETBs and Rakdos scam people? Name five decent red ETBs. <clears throat> it is a lot harder than you'd think. Fury, all right, we got one. FTK, we got two. Atali doesn't count, that's eight mana, but seven mana. Caves of Chaos, we got three. Oxide, not here. <laughs> Congratulations, we're at three. Flame Imp, I mean, Fire Imp doesn't count. Flame Tongue, Co or the Flame Tongue Yearling, eh. Imperial Recruiter. Season Peasy. Some of these cards are real cards that could show up. GG's Jewel, WP's. Uh, apologies for the, you know, obviously. Magic Online, if you're not used to it, it takes a little getting used to. Uh, my, I, I mean, at this point, maybe it's not the most helpful information. It's the uh, clicking everything instead of hotkeys. Uh, and also just like, don't feel like uh, you're slowing things down if you need to take an extra moment or anything, you know? Just tell Jules it's a skill issue and move on. Well, I don't want to be rude. I'm not, I'm not rude. I'm not rude. Uh, Harju, please fight me. Avalanche Riders. Black, black, red LD scam would be pretty funny. I don't think it would be good, but like jamming like Avalanche Riders and Goblin Settler and uh, Fulminator Mage. Uh, Can't let her decks are vintage. 
Ooh. Oh yeah. This hand's a little biscuit risky, especially being on the draw. Um, but maybe, just maybe. Oh shit, my opponent's popping off. Pitch a Savannah. Oh, I'm getting paradoxed. I don't think this is a great matchup for us. If I can rip their hand apart, great. Uh, the big problem is that they have a bunch of draw sevens and tutors. Vexing Devil. There's a red land... There's an imprint land red creature from OG Mirrodin block. Oh, that's from Scars Mirrodin block, and you're thinking of Invader Parasite? Like, I need to grab... Oh, that's not bad. The problem is that they're going to grab a uh, Shadow Spear. They're going to make two Constructs grab a Shadow Spear. And then we're kind of out of luck. Oh. Oh, the Shadow Spear's in their fucking hand. Let's go. Let's go. Skullcap Snail. Want a reprieve? You want to make a thing? Stifle? Yeah, they're... Oh, fuck. They're going to make a... Uh, they're going to find... Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. They're going to find themselves a Phyrexian Dreadnought. <laughs> oh, shit. They're going to stifle knot me. I was so distracted by the Shadow Spear. I mean, I think it's actually better for me to take the Shadow Spear anyways. Oh, they don't go for the Stifle. Okay. Whew. Yeah, I think it's better to go for it anyways. Because these card instructs are going to be big. No blue? They got a Mox Diamond. They're just going to make two massive creatures and then find like a presumably like a box sapphire or a soul ring or something. Or that. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. <clears throat> we can do some blocking, which is kind of nice. Um... Just gonna get them hell bent. Play out this, and then next turn I gotta start doing some jump blocks. Oh, I should have attacked. Whoops. Whoopsie. Excuse me. I like, oh. Please. <laughs> Uh, now I have to jump block, right? I have to jump block one of them. Because if we don't jump block, then they can just make enough stuff to bo uh, buff them both. This might be too much to come back from. Because I don't think I can jump block enough. So this comes into play tapped. Well, if there's anything in my deck that'll help me. I don't actually think so. Shriek Maw doesn't work here. I only have three mana. 
Trikma doesn't work. Liliana doesn't work. Obviously, grief in this spot's not really doing anything. Is there like a death toucher? Just plague engineer. Right? Am I on plague engineer? I'm not on plague engineer? God damn it. Why am I not on plague engineer? Oh, this deck sucks. I don't think I have anything. Like I could just grab like a removal spell. Shriek Maw doesn't do it. I think I just have to grab Fatal Push. Callous Blood Mage can make two blockers. I think I grab Fatal Push. What if I put the clamp on here? Saw on half? I don't think saw on half's doing enough here. I need to just kill off these car constructs. If I can maybe accrue enough value. Like maybe if I can get enough stuff going, but I, I think the Telerian Academy really set me back because the, I mean, I just can't get out of this, get out from under the Retrofitter Foundry. Retrofitter was annoying enough, but yeah, this, this feels like a, a pretty tough spot. Pretty impossible spot to be in. Cycle the Zagoth Trial. Make another servo. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to lock here. I don't want to block one of these. No, oh, I get so much more value by not blocking it. Uh, I'm going to block there. A fatal push this. I guess I should have pushed before because they play Reprieve. Are they on counter magic? Yeah, I'm just dead. What the fuck is this deck? <laughs> I just realized after not making the block, I'm like, oh, they might have counter magic. I'm so confused by this deck. I guess one good meme deserves another, but very confused about some of the cards included. Oh, we get to win the game. All right. My Urza Saga is not as good as their Urza Saga, admittedly. But it's pretty good. Um, okay, do I want a saga on one? How badly do I want to get a soul ring out? I think I'm fine just going swamp. Pass, then we can go Saga, Demonic Tutor, maybe find a Mox. We got this double animate dead. Depending on what they play, we could like Demonic Tutor for the uh, Broodlord and then set up Inner Triumph. I'm so confused how this deck finds room for Lose Focus and Reprieve. Now it makes me want to find grief. Not going to do it yet. Are you going to get your Urza Saka? You are. Mm. 
<laughs> ah, the ravenous rats. Okay, I am going to evoke this grief. Kind of want to keep bitter triumph in my hand. Catching the ravenous rats. See your grip. I'm gonna brainstorm. Hide your secrets. They just have nothing? Man, I hate Magic the Gathering. I mean, I guess we made them brainstorm. I don't get my cool play, though. Let's make our token. Uh, I think I have to make a token here as well. I mean, we could see what we draw. It'll push us a great draw here, but yeah, I think I'm gonna make another token. You got a stifle? This is the state of uh, Canadian Highlander in uh, the year of our Lord. Um, do I need to get a Shadow Spear to match? I think I get a jet. Not gonna lie, I hate Saga. It is a card that is kind of wearing down on me a little bit as somebody that also just plays Saga in the decks that I... In the decks that I play to try and win tournaments, I also play Urza Saga. What tea am I sipping? Uh, this is just a peach herbal tea. Ooh, Manifold Key. I'm not on Saga for the rack. No, I'm on I'm on Saga for uh, other magic cards. I'm try to bring back this grief. You got a time vault in your hand. I have to stifle this. I'm coming on in. Terrified at the thought of MH3. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, there are some cards that I'm excited to see from MH3. There are also some cards, uh, like cer certain kind of uh, effects. Uh, that are interesting to see if they want to push them, you know? Um, and it's it's exciting to get potentially some new cards, some new blood. Mm-hmm. Ezrit, huh? Coming on in.
Well, I think... Oh, I can do this. I think I gotta do this. Or else I'm just gonna lose <clears throat> to Tezzeret. Now here's hoping they don't draw a tutor, because then we could also just lose to Time Bolt. They can go like Ancient Den, three mana tutor for Time Vault. Untap it. It's a lot of mana. One ring. That's a pretty good magic card. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to lose. How is it not banned? Well, there's no ban list here. That's the big thing. My meme deck doesn't interact well with artifacts. Which is a little unfortunate. Do I have anything that I can do? Not really. Can't dance at the dead anything. I can keep up my children's edict. Play this and pass. Playable foretell card? There's just no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're done. All right, I'm going to have to play a real deck because I can't. <laughs> if I'm going to play a meme deck against Time Vault, it's just not going to. We're not going to have a good time. So I need to. Probably I need to I need to play something that's actually real. Unfortunately. For our rat unfortunately for our rat scam fans. Uh yeah. Am I not dying the one ring? Ah, they're gonna figure out a way to get rid of it. They got a million cards in hand. I believe in their process. It's fine, I'm on tilt anyways. Yeah, they're draw they're drawing so many cards. Uh, no, I think I, I want to try this list. The, this is the, oh, I got to figure out a, a replacement for Moloch. This is a recent, this one, the first, uh, Canlander tournament, uh, in 2023 for Yellow Jacket. What are you missing? Oh, classic, classic not playing the Priest of Titania. I love Priest of Titania in these decks. They just, it just adds so much mana. Especially if you're playing like Wood Elves. If you're going as deep as Wood Elves, then playing this is fine. Uh, Weir of Oz back for the 35th month. I think I need someone to mind twist me for seven. That would fix me. I think it would feel like getting every vertebrae in my back snapped at the same time. I mean, but like the bad kind of snap, right? Like the bad kind of snap, like the crack you in half. I mean, if that's what you want, then that's what you want. Could you steal this list? Yeah. Uh, let me set up this match. Eat the rich. Please fight me. Um, here you go. <clears throat> Speaking of warm and tingly, I'm going to turn off the heat. Uh, yeah, you can challenge me. Or if you have me on Magic the Gathering online, then I can fight you. I can fight you. Do I have you on here? I assume your name's gonna be Eat the Rich. Uh, yeah, that works. 
Can you still not play Moto on a Mac? That's kind of wild. What color? Kiki. Rock. Nice try last game. Better luck next time. Thanks, Pat. How you doing, bud? Pat, there's nothing we could have done there. This, uh, this format's dog shit. Uh, what do I do with this? I mulligan this hand. It's so fucking slow. But it is kind of hot. Yoink. Jesus Christ, Noel. Do you have dorks in this deck? Maybe someone should do something about that? Impossible. Uh, I don't think I can keep this. <sighs> this is what I'm talking about. This is easy. We're just going to draw the land. Should we take a moment to shit on Noel's list? <laughs> yeah, he's got a... Noel has an interesting way of building decks that I don't know if many other people can actually play. There's only so many people that can play like 2017 cards and get away with it. Tinkering a list for the Discord year-end invitational. Playing Time Vault against my poor rats. Unbelievable. We're just here having a good time, drawing our second land. And we get Time Vaulted. Didn't even think of my rats. I might be against Gruul Monsters. I missed them already. Uh, fixed all. Welcome back for the fifth month. How you doing? How you been? Birds of Paradise is my favorite rat. I mean, some would argue birds are rats with wings. If they wasteland and then kill my Bone Crusher Giant, my Birds of Paradise. Ooh, Canker Bloom. Okay. Glad I didn't play this Arbor Elf. Hmm. Ew. Is Noel playing a filthy dried arbor? No. Okay, well. Damn, that's tasty tea. How have I been? I'm a busy boy, Pat. I'm a busy man. I've been all right. Playing a shitload of Vintage Cube. The best format in the game. Eggs, eggs, Para. Welcome back for the 57th month. How are you doing? Jesus Christ, 57 months. Uh, thank you for everything you do around here and all the support. Means a lot to me. Means a lot to me. Oh, discard that blood moon. Uh, going on with the year end. I mean, we still have an idea that we want to, you know, stream it, showcase uh, the format for the fans. Uh, they had a playoff. And uh, now I guess we got to pick a time. I need to start up a group chat. My biggest, my my biggest pet peeve. Potentially my biggest pet peeve. Um. Hmm. We don't actually have a green land, which is kind of a kind of a pisser. Did I qualify? No, I played like four events over the past year. Or I think uh, six. I played in six tournaments over the past year, and I only managed to win one of them. I'd like to play more this year, 
or at least rack up some amount. Old Ben would have had six QPs. Yeah, you're right. New Ben values his time too much. I lose in round one and I'm like, okay, well, I'm, you know, I mean, I guess that's not a trophy anyways, but it's not like a, I lose in round one and then I'm not like, okay, I got to do better for the next time. Instead, it's like, well, I'm going home. Fuck this, I'm going home. Okay, uh, we're wasteland locked and they can ping off our dorks. They unholy heat on this. Is there a Ponza deck in Highlander? I mean, you could play like, uh, you could you could play like a, a red green list with more uh, LD, like a lands mid range ish list. How do you fight me? You log on to Magic Online, you get your deck ready, and then I'll, I I think I have you on my friends list, so I can send you a challenge. Ah, oh, another one. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. Behold. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this one. Unless I rip like a god. Which is something that... I, I think that the changes that we made are, are super helpful for the format. But I think that there are larger changes that are kind of... They either need to be addressed or there's just no way to address them. Which is a little unfortunate. Which is like... Uh, I find a lot of Highlander games, you can, they, they're kind of decided in the first couple of turns until you just rip the, the card where you're like, oh, well, you don't have a, there's no way that you can profitably respond to this, you know? It's kind of like this, like keeping this, we mulligan to five because we didn't have a hand with a one dropper or two drop. Um... And then, or like a, a quick combo kill, or a, a, a reliable combo kill. Um, and then it's like, okay, so I'll, I've lost this game, but I am going to go through the motion of like taking my turn and untapping and casting my spells because I can draw a card that couldn't just win me the game. Is that pretty much all 1v1? No, I don't think so. No. I haven't experienced that with 60 card formats. <laughs> I haven't been experiencing that with 60 card formats. Maybe I'm just getting burnt out on uh, Islander, which is unfortunate, but who knows? Uh, Devoid Melody, welcome back for the 55th month. Uh, gaming. I don't like, not, I don't even like grindy formats. Um, I do like formats where I feel like my decisions matter. If you say grindy formats, are you going to say pioneer or standard or <laughs> I guess uh, popper? I don't, which which path do you want to go? Do you want to go down the I roasted popper recently or the uh, I roast pioneer regularly or the uh, or the, the fact that there's a standard right now, the standard format right now has people like decking out and there's no mill deck. Oh, that was a best of one. Hey, wait a minute. That was best of one. No, this doesn't add up at all. What do I have against Popper? I just don't think the format's very good. Eat the rich. That was best of one. You got to challenge, uh, challenge me again. Gotta hop back in. Grindy formats like tiny leaders. Vintage has been great. I was playing a bunch of vintage. Really enjoyed playing vintage. Obviously, vintage cube is like busted. It's it's the best format to play. Uh, Pat Pat. 
Pat Pat, why'd you gift me? What, you gifted a sub to Crowley's Kittens? People should be gifting you a sub. To go next to that beautiful gem of yours. Uh, did I see the Orcish Lumberjack list? Yes, I'm very familiar with the Orcish Lumberjack. How do you select best of three? What's your name, Yeet the Rich? Was it just Yeet the Rich? Because I can do this. Another one. Yeah, there you go. Uh, challenge player. Uh, vintage. I guess we're just going to do open play. Is there no way to change this? Wait, what? Tournament practice, vintage. This should be fine. Games per match, two games. Games per match. Games per match? Uh, and now if you win the die roll, you're going to have to, uh, whatchamacallit, you have to be on the draw. Just tell them, hey, I'll go on the draw. Uh, Onion Flake, welcome back for the 14th month, the Librarian's Year. Happy New Year, and a happy new year to you too. Ooh, I'm going to keep this. Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, and thank you to L for gifting a sub to Pat Pat. That's very kind of you. Finally, the monkey has his banana. Yeah, I shit on Popper a little bit uh, a couple streams ago. I don't necessarily want to dog pilot on, on it anymore because people do genuinely like the format. It's okay, you can like bad formats. <laughs> Kappa. Mm. Ooh, yeah, let me double develop some mana here. Uh, probably green. I could get white blue here. And the wall of boots. <laughs> like commander. You like you like base rocket? Oh, okay. Something's wrong with you. That's that. That's a cry for help. I fucking love base rocket. Love your content. You're my favorite on LRR. Thank you so much, hat. Hot Fappuccino. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hot Fappuccino. That's very kind of you to say. Yeah, I think modern's a little dookie. It's gotten a bit better with the bands, but I I think it needs some more. It's a little weird, like the, I don't know, Amulet Titan being like a top deck is a bit of a pisser. Although it's always kind of been a top deck, but now it's like a top deck that isn't as like held back by uh, the, oh, well, Kiki's in my hand. Uh, I don't think I want a Kiki here. Can I pod here to set up something? I don't need to. I think I'm just going to cast this Fury. And then I can set up this later. Like, if I Fury here, we can Fury here, Wrath their board. If they don't kill the Fury and rebuild to the board, then we can um, Kiki Jiki our Fury, build, kill their board again. Uh, and then if they kill Kiki Jiki, then we can pod up to Karmic Guide. Will I consider streaming Vintage? Yeah, I would do that. The problem with me streaming Vintage is that um, I am infinitely worse at Magic the Gathering when I am playing on stream and Vintage is a, you really gotta not fuck up your first couple of turns, you know? I'll, I'll stream it though, because it's, it's fun. You could, there's always people playing. Cube is a different, like I could play cube and just fuck around, right? Leaving up.
Not killing my fury, huh? Uh, completely disagree. There are no swords. What? Every deck plays swords. To not every deck, but one of the best decks in the format plays swords to plowshares. Hey, wait a minute. Um, what's my pod chain look like? I don't have a way of. Don't have a way of generating a lot of mana, huh? Can I just seek her here? I could just seek her here. That lets me untap with pod. Hit you with my bird. Earthing pod. Put a counter on this. Pod my wall of boots. Find spell seeker. Trigger my spell seeker. Yes. Find time walk. Cast Time Walk. I can also just find um, Eternal Witness. If we get to keep our pod, we can just find Eternal Witness. But they're kind of priced into killing this Fury. They could have Endurance. they have endurance, then it's better for me to do it like this. Pod this. Can Kiki not make a copy of Fury and attack them for 12? Yeah, this kind of what... Take, taking this line lets me pivot around them potentially having spot removal that they're like holding for the combo kill. If they have both of it, both cards, then obviously that's a bit of a pisser, but. This kills them, lets me play around more things. And also just like pushes them to use their interaction on pieces that I don't actually need if I untap with them uh, being like tapped out or tapped low. We milled the ephemerate. That's very funny. Now, does Noel play Phantasmal Image? The classic Patty... Wait, no. Pat, were you on... You were on Image. You weren't on Metamorph, right? When you played? The... Like, on your old list? I like Image. I like Flesh Duplicate, too, but it's not on uh, Moto yet. Flesh Duplicate's wild. Putting it in chat for people that don't know. Uh, why are we on all these walls instead of mana dorks? Can I afford to keep this on the draw? This is wild. It feels miserable, like having, not having interaction or not having a one drop feels like I can't do anything on the draw here. Wall of Omens into Fable is kind of nice. Wall of Omens into Grist is all right. The fact that I have Pestermite itself is kind of interesting. There's no Splinter Twin in here. Um, I don't know. This is like a perfectly serviceable hand, but this feels like the kind of hand that I'm just going to die because I kept. Um, 
Wall blocks well. My mana's all right. We have a Fable and a Grist. I think I'm going to keep this. Smiling Mammoth back for the fourth month. Nice to catch a stream. Normally the YouTube VOD gang. Appreciate how quickly you get those up. Well, thank you. I try to, yeah, try to get them up either the same night or the next day. We could also draw a dork. Ooh, Gaia's Cradle. Yeah, it's a two-mana clone, the Flesh Duplicate, that you can target. That's the important part, is that it's a two-mana clone that you can target with, like, Ephemerate, uh, where you cannot do that. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Mox Ruby? Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Good game. Cool game. Zero points, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we both played a game of Magic the Gathering. I could draw Caracas. Ooh. We're just dead. I mean, I'll play the full set if they want to play a full set. Firelit thicket, the spicy firelit thicket. Uh, yeah, this hand works. Get that in there. Um, hmm. <laughs> we, we could ignoble for uh, white plume, like uh, Eldritch Evolution or ignoble into white plume. It's kind of kind of exciting. Uh, there is MJK. Uh, I will say, currently there is 18 people. And there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to get through all of those. hide the cradle. Oh, I gotta tap that for white. Okay, now what are we getting here? I guess one reason to play the Cradle is because if we wanted to get Solitude, then we'd be able to Solitude next turn. Um, we could get a Palace Jailer. I could get Felidar Guardian. I think I want Felidar Guardian. Oh, I can't get Felidar Guardian with this one. Right. Uh, I can grab... 
I mean, we can Evo that into Felidar. Huh. Do I grab Karmic Guide? Okay, this is a tough one. Um, I could also get Charming Prince to flicker the Recruiter of the Guard. And then that gives me... Or I can get Phantasmal Image to copy that. And then I can Evo... I guess I can't cast the image. Maybe I should just get Palace Jailer here. We get Kiki Jiki, a little, a little far away from that. Dang, this, this is a tough one. Uh, could get Spellseeker and rip the blue. I think I want Jailer, or I think I'm getting Palace Jailer. For whatever reason in my mind, I'm like, I'm resolving Woodland Bellower. <laughs> like, this card is going into play. Uh, yeah, I, I've been on Team Point Minskambu for a while. It's, uh, it's a hard grind. It's tough to convince people that, um, there is a difference between that four drop and, like, Questing Beast <laughs> or Seasoned Dungeoneer or like Aragorn or any aggressive four drop. Damn, wild knackadal. I could I could jailer the Nakadal here. I'm older. Um, I could grab white, blue, Jailer the Nakadal. They kill the Jailer. I can Evo into Karmic Guide to get back Jailer. I think I have to do this. My man is a little awkward. I can now Evo into Time Walk too. How did I miss Minskibu on North 100? Uh, because that was a pandemic set, right? That was like the first one back from the pandemic set. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think if you're like a two color deck, then you should be splashing for like Minskibu. <laughs> like it's, it's fucked. It's a four mana card. You can do it. It's free. Don't think it sees any play at one point? Oh, no. It, that card absolutely sees play at one point. Are you kidding me? It's like the best one... Po it would be one of the best one-point cards, hands down. Legacy as a format missed Minskibu for a month. Ooh. Well, now I can get Kikijiki. And I can Palace Jailer them. I think I like that better than Karmic Guide. Yeah, it wasn't on MTGO. The like disconnected uh, legacy formats are a little tough. Like they still don't have the Warhammer cards, which means that they're missing like legacy. Mo uh, Moto Legacy is missing like Triumph of St. Catherine and Chaos Defiler decks. Uh, they're tapped out. I can kill them with Seeker Walk, right? Yeah. Here's the Death Rate Shaman. Because this adds four. We go to one floating. Get that Ephemerate Walk. 
Eldritch Evolution. Sacrificing, I guess, this. I could sacrifice the death right, Shaman, but I'm going to sacrifice that. Get myself a spell seeker. Did you just huff at me? My cat just like went like <clears throat> She gave me the like <clears throat> Sometimes you die when you cast your four drop. Yeah, I'm tired of the like Bane Slayer Angel. Like, sometimes it dies to Doomblade. I think that the card is above the grade as far as power level, snowball potential, recovery potential. Uh, it ends the game way too quickly. It dictates too much of the game around itself. And like the my the the idea of like, hey, sometimes you just lose the game when you cast your four mana spell. It's like, yeah, sometimes you just lose the game when you cast your two mana spell. And like the mana difference doesn't matter that much. Like if for a four mana spell, it's pretty good at causing you to not like, it's pretty good at preventing you from losing the game for what it's worth, right? Like, it's not that bad at doing that. Um. I need to, to call here. Bolt shits on it bad. Yeah, that's fine. A braid shits on time vault, right? Mana leak shits on everything. Like it's only one point. It's not, it's, it's not even that bad. I'm just saying, don't let people free roll it. You know, uh, what am I doing? I'm finding this a turn witness. Ephemerate back. People act like increasing a card by one point is just like a death sentence. When, like, no, <laughs> it's just one point. People, there are decks all over the place that just like have nine points. Um, and that's okay. Like, that's okay, but what if they also had more customization? the points that they're playing. <laughs> it's one point. How much could it cost? All right. Well, I have, uh, as the kids say, uh, created a loop here. Cast the card without paying its mana cost? Uh, yeah, I would like to. Where did the card go? There did the card go. There did the card go. Uh, the one ring is currently not a point. Keep the richest sent me a message. Yeah, I'm going to take infi turns here. Uh, where's my match? <laughs> there it is. I don't actually think the one ring necessarily needs to be a point. I think that uh, pointing cards like Urza Saga is going to be a better way of addressing that. The One Ring has more counterplay. The One Ring is less immediate. Um, there are some strengths to the One Ring that I feel like can be addressed through supporting cards that turn the One Ring into uh, the powerhouse that it is in certain decks. And it's also okay for cards like that to be uh, powerful. There's also counterplay, right? You got counterplay to the One Ring that exists. Counterplay that the decks that often play the One Ring, or at least showcase the One Ring as being the most broken, like the most broken card in the world or whatever, uh, those decks tend to not deal with the, you know, it's funny to say, but they don't deal with Bowmaster, Shieldred, or Hullbreacher that well. Uh, GG's Eat the Rich WP. 
The deck building interface is atrocious, but the actual game isn't that bad. Yeah, Magic Online is, is a totally reasonable, if not great simulator. You know? I mean, yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um who's my next opponent sorry i'm in a conversation right now we're getting everything banned uh croc please fight me Yeah, there are some cards that I would like to see pointed, uh, still. Um, I would like to see Urza Saga, White Plume Adventurer, and Minsk and Boo. Those are the big ones. Uh, yes. Jesus Christ. Also, I think this deck might need 37 lands. These decks, these decks are always like super mana hungry too. Uh, I'm going to keep this in bottom grist and hopefully I don't get punished for it. Shadow Spear would be punished. Nah, it's Shadow Spear is fine. Shadow Spear is like a good magic card. It's a reasonable piece of equipment and uh, tends to feel like it's fuck, more fucked up than it is. As a product of Urza Saga, right? <laughs> Raugrin Triome. Okay. Um, Ketria unlocks Fable. Jet Mirrors unlocks Fable and Recruited the Guard. So I'm going to get a Jet Mirrors Garden. Mm. Well, against Jeska, I'm going to lead on the Wall of Boots. Because I can't bolt this. There are cards like Comet, Mitsuku, and White Plum Wheeler. Wait. Hey there, are there posted cards? Oh no, that was a joke. That was a joke, stream team. <laughs> I, I made a joke in the going live post where I said something akin to like, uh, Comet and Minsk and Boo and White Plume Adventurer got stuck in traffic. I'm not saying the One Ring will never be pointed as well, because it's a reasonable card if you want to remove power level from the um, from the uh, artifact deck, while also just like maybe it doesn't make for the best gameplay. Yeah, Noel needs to. I think I think this deck needs one more land, just in general. I found myself just constantly hoping that I'm drawing a land. How do I feel when my opponents roll a six when activating the good boy? That I don't like. Uh, that card is busted, but I don't find it to be that. Um, Comet is busted, but also Comet's not a competitive card in the sense that it doesn't really lead to like, I mean, it's quite literally rolling a D6, you know? Pointing Urza Saga is a huge buff to non-blue mid-range decks because people will stop playing it. Thomas, you think... Thomas, you seem to operate under this idea that, like, if a card gets pointed, then it's just, like, fucking done-so. It's gone completely. 
But like, that's the idea, is that people will now get to make the decision of, hey, do I want to play Urza Saga or do I want to play this card? Do I want to go on a big point spread? Do I want to go on a smaller point spread? Like, that's cool. And like, yeah, I guess part of it is making, uh, like part of points is, you know, so that it appears with a lower frequency. Uh, kill spell, kill spell. I mean, I could just play this Teferi. Teferi's pretty bad in the face of Comet, which actually might come down. <clears throat> Next turn, this turn. Do I want to recruit her? I think I want to get Fable down. I don't think uh, whatever we're playing is resolving anyways, but, you know, Fable seems to be pretty high value yes, to get it on the table. E I think my win rate when opponents play Urza Saga is insanely high unless they're on all artifacts. What? Card is super overrated? I mean, it's okay to be wrong. <laughs> the card is at its scariest in the artifact decks because it just means that you get to aggressively mulligan to your combo kill. But then, like, you get to aggressively mulligan to your broken cards. Um... And then also just like have that as an option where it's just like, oh shit, who needs Tolarian Academy when I can play this game plan instead? Uh, Leonis Co, welcome back for the 18th month. Thanks for getting my partner and I into this great format. Glad I could help. Thank you for the support. Also just like, yeah, the, uh, the Academy decks are really fucking good. You know? Oh my God, actual factual glory bringer? Am I am I gonna recruit the guard for uh, solitude here? I think I have to, or else this card's just gonna make it so that I can't untap with anything. I could to ferry this. Oh, maybe to ferry is better. To ferry bounce this, draw a card, then they have to like this lets me hit my land drop potentially. It's bad. Days is bad either way. Force of Negation does hit this. Also lets them hit their land drop. Mm, I think I like Teferi here. I need to, like, I need to hit some lands. There we go. <clears throat> so now if they want to Glorybringer kill Teferi, they can do that. But then they're spending their whole turn to develop it. They could also go like land burn spell glory bringer me, but that's fine. That's, you know, they're using a whole card to get rid of this. They could ignore Teferi and just try to get there on uh, glory bringer. It's also just kind of nice, like one point, pointing some of these new cards up to one point is a nice shift on what a one point card looks like, uh, as well as just it gets people to play with different cards, gets them to actually make decisions in deck building, which is kind of interesting. Why is this music so sad? Uh, because I missed my, I missed the land drop earlier. Wouldn't you be sad if you missed a land drop? Mm. I still think I'm going to recruit of the guard for solitude here. How does the academy deck play against control? Uh, pretty well. You're fast. You have um, tools to bait on their end step. They now have to keep hands, or they now have to actually have removal for cards for your Bowmasters and your Hullbreacher. 
depending on your build for your Shieldred or for your Saga tokens. You play Planeswalkers that are pretty gross as well. Do you have Stifle in your list? No, they're just F6ing. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Hi, I am somewhat new to the format and I've been binging North 100. I noticed there was a game or two where only 90 of your points were used for triple mocks. Is the deck building usually that tight where you might not use the last point for a random one pointer? Uh, yeah, it depends on the deck. There are some decks, it depends on the deck and it also depends on when that was recorded. Uh, for instance, now we have a couple of other cards that have moved down to one point that might find a home in those uh, lists, like uh, Umezawa's Jite or um, uh, Fourth Era Lingus. I'm going to attack. If they have their own solitude, so be it. Here's my wood elves. Should elves? I could remand this. Maybe they have a remand that they want to cash in for a card. Is Twunk banned? No, Twunk's not banned. Surely Twunk isn't banned. You said the S word? There you go. It always gets them. Faithful Mending. Oh. No, don't ban Twunk. can't ban Twunk. It's the last bastion. People at least use Twunk properly. Twink has been bastardized completely. Now Twink just means somebody that, did, that didn't drink milk when they were growing up. Ooh. <laughs> Back in my day. We used to be a country. Twink used to mean something. I still think I'm on this. Uh, I have double blue. I could use a savanna. This card might, uh, might just be getting got by a counter spell, but that's okay. Got to clear the path. Anyways. We're now just hoping that our opponent doesn't fourth arrow lingus us into the dirt or recall. We're in a not great spot. We're kind of at the mercy of them uh, not drawing pointed cards, but welcome to Canadian Highlander. Yeah, Oko's not a twink. He's a twunk. He's got abs. He's ripped. Also, he's like older. He pro frankly speaking, he probably shouldn't even be a twunk. He's just a hunk. But if you say the word twink on the internet, uh, everybody claps for you. <laughs> it's, the, it's the word. Twinks can't have abs. No, they can. They just they're usually not that wide. You know. Seeker the way. Oh shit, they're like tempo. Huh. It's kind of exciting. Um, I could undermount adventure here. I think I would prefer to play a pilgrim and then fire off a quarter calling into turn. Wheeler's twink keeping. I'm just, I'm just telling the truth here. I'm just keeping it 
keeping it above the board. You got baby gays on the internet that try to run wild with some of these words and then then the straights end up picking it up and then it's just a clusterfuck. I love Seeker of the Way. Apologies for being a lesbian. Oh, you never have to apologize for that. In fact, you're not allowed. Thoughts on the word girl twink? Sure. Look. The trans community, they can do whatever the fuck they want. I'm in no position to question outside of the sake of uh, uh, of um, uh, learning and uh, developing an understanding of some of the terminology that gets used. They could go nuts. Uh, I think I want to do this for five. This is definitely going to eat a counterspell here. Uh-huh. Snapcaster Mage makes it a little more awkward. I'm still going to slam this under Mountain Adventurer. Free rain? Well, there's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. It's an incredible combination. They're just uh, an incredibly powerful. Uh, it's, it's just an incredibly powerful force. Bisexuals, meanwhile, have perpetual imposter syndrome. Well, that would be true if bisexuals existed. Um, <laughs> what do I want to do here? Can I just kill you? I think I could just kill you. Maybe? Uh, I can play this under mountain adventurer I can green sun for eternal witness I don't have a way that I can find like I can't find time walk with this I mean I think green sun for witness for quarter calling and then cord is that is Undermounted Adventure just going to be better for that? I could also Green Sun for solid for uh, Witness for Solitude. I think I want to. Oh, Magic Online, hello. What do you mean? What do you mean inactivity? It's called being in the tank, Magic Online. Okay, Undermount Adventurer, Adventurer resolving is pretty hot. Get to find a basic land here. Uh, this will give me triple red if we ever draw Kiki Cheeky. Also means that I can Green Sun for three to get Eternal Witness to bring back this Court of Calling. I could also get Grist. He's getting Grist and then hiding. I think... I think Witness is still better. Getting Eternal Witness and returning this quarter calling. Seems pretty hot to me. Wait, why are people spamming me? I make one joke and then chat fucking erupts. This is how you know it's a Wheeler bit. I make one joke and our viewers drop 30. Or not 30, uh, 50, excuse me. Because they're all bots. I am a I am a subscriber to the dead internet theory. Rip to all the bi viewers. Rip to all the people with bi girlfriends. <laughs> Uh, 
You know what I mean? An explanation on that theory? Oh, that like a large part of the internet. Uh, here, hold on. There's a wiki link for it. There's just so many bots running around. Uh, is Timeless Lotus a bad card in Paradox? It's a bit expensive and just kind of unnecessary. Ooh, we grinded that out. Okay, hell yeah. God, it feels good to play a real deck sometimes. I do think that a majority of the internet is just bots and children. Like, especially on... Um, the f oh, it's Caracas. Um, this hand kind of stinks, huh? We're kind of looking to just draw... Something. What should I play for the webcam year-end invitational? <sighs> Fry guy, you should probably play uh, Breach Storm. How about Breach Storm? I think I can keep this. Just need to draw a land, but I think I can keep. I would say Breach Storm. That feels like a good bet for a deck that can just like, you know, win the game. Just just a pretty good deck. Open deck lists? Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, they're on mid-range. They're on triple mox mid-range. Oh shit. That's scary. I assume they're on triple mox mid-range. Play an Arbor Elf here. Do you need to draw another fetch land or a blue source? Are they gonna remand my Arbor Elf? They use my Arbor Elf, okay. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit of an awkward fetch land. You could also play... <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. You could also play Boros. I think Boros is kind of fucked up. I think Boros with like Mox Mox Gite Strip Fourth Aerolingus is pretty gross. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this game. This is kind of a great representation of what I was talking about earlier. Is that it's just like a lot of the games where it's like, oh, well, yeah, there's there's just no way in hell I'm winning this game, right? I have the monarchy on turn two. And I'm just like so slowed down. I need to like rip like a champion. And then that doesn't exactly create the most interesting and competitive environment, you know? Just like my, <laughs> my just guy opponent gets to draw two cards a turn. Oh. Surge, thank you for the raid. Welcome folks. How you doing? How you been? Promised you butts? I mean, we've got a couple. What is this emote? Don't pin the message. I 
I think I've seen this emote before. Oh, it's an owl. Kind of looks like a Tauros. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. They're going to kill it. All right, great. I uh, hope you had a good stream. Thank you for the raid. We're playing Canadian Highlander on Magic Online. It is the all-access day for everybody, which means uh, if you have Magic Online, you can hop on and play for free. Probably not against me because I have way too many people in this queue. But, you know, you could find someone. Uh, yeah, I think this deck needs, uh, needs another land. Maybe fewer Uros. I'm kind of off this card in these creature combo decks. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I think I would like to add another land here over this Uro. Especially because, like, double blue seems a little tough to get to. And, yeah, impossible to escape. If you're drawing it in, like, a, a very long game, like, it's the kind of card that you never want to draw until, like, turn nine. And even then, it's, like, when you're at parity with your opponent, more or less. Sylvan Carriated would be great. Like, that's one of the ways that we can get back in this game is if we draw Sylvan Carriated, but I feel like I've lost. Just a little <laughs> suboptimal. It's not the best. Eggs! Eggs! E double GS eggs! Hmm. Dune Sparrow, welcome back for the 26th month. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Breakfast with Wheeler. Oh, I could play eggs. Now that you mention it. Were there changes that I should play for eggs? When's the last time I played eggs on camera? I want to live in a poly in a commune where you bake bread and cook food and grow vegetables. I too hate capitalism. I too do not wish to be under the crushing weight of capitalism. Ugh. Mm, I mean, I could path the exile. Am I going to path the exile this? This is pretty bad. If I, I feel like I'm in a spot where this card is just going to snowball. Yeah, that's just a commune. All right, they didn't take the bait. Path in this list also feels a little weird. Look, it's it's a Noel Robin list. You know? You think you have to play Path? Nah, you, you only need to play Swords. You got Swords. I'd rather play Bolt over Path in this deck, I think. We are also, yeah, we're, we lack the, uh, the Maw Lock, which is worth mentioning. We don't have a tutorable Fourth Herlingus. Yeah, I'm just dead. I think I'm going to add a, if I'm going to play this more, do I want to just play eggs? I think I want to play eggs. No, Maw Lock's not on Magic Online. Yeah, Maw Lock is not on Magic Online. Uh, do I want to make any other changes? Uh. Do I want to make any changes to this eggs list? Mm. Yeah, I kind of want to cut that and play. 
Bowmasters or Breacher. Bowmasters is probably the right call. All right, let's try this. Copy for Magic Online. Line Prancers? Yeah, there's no Line Prancers. There's, there are a lot of cards where, I, admittedly, part part of, uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Admittedly, there, you know, a non-zero amount of the reason why I don't do a lot of Canlander streams anymore uh, is because it's just not the same format. Feels a little awkward. What is a weather top? Oh, deserted temple. I see. All right. Change this. Uh, who am I? Who am I fighting next? Who am I fighting next? Uh, Mal D, please fight me. Who fight me, please? Weather top is when your partner dresses up like a cloud. Weak. Weak. <laughs> Incredibly weak. Take a take a walk. <laughs> take take a walk after that one. Ooh, we. Mm. Yeah, I think I like this. This is a version of eggs that runs black, uh, playing Wishclaw, Bowmasters, and Beseech the Mirror. It's somewhat new. Ooh, Skull Clamp. I like Skull Clamp. Skull Clamp off Basic Island rules. The claws. Cast this Mox Opal. Cast this Scrabbling Claws. Cast this Surgical Skull Bomb. And I'm going to pass. Fetching in this deck might be a little awkward. Again, new build, not super familiar with it. But let's, I could probably figure my way through this maybe. Oh, where's the song? Great Furnace, doesn't really help my Wargate here. Um. Play an Arid Mesa and fetch. And then I want Tundra. Gonna play it a Walking Ballista. Yeah, the Great Furnace. Great Furnace really helping out this uh, War Gate. Although. I don't know what I want to beseech for. Because we would have to beseech. We would wargate for Lotus and then we'd beseech. Um, and that's not the best. I could have cracked the Scrabbling Claws. Mana Vault's okay. Mana Vault's a reasonable card to get rid of. Um, I will attack. I want to trade with their token.
Probably should have done this before playing my Great Furnace because we could draw, like drawing a Spire of Industry would be pretty good there. I think this is okay. We could take it a little slow. I still don't know what I want to get. Like it's the thing is that depending on what I draw, I might change my Wargate so that I can accommodate Beseech the Mirror. Also into open blue mana, it's a little awkward. Um, if I play the Mana Vault and the Spire, I might be able to Beseech or Wargate into Lotus, Lotus my Beseech, Beseech into Salvagers and then loop. I'll see. Could beseech into Urza. Beseech into Trawler could work too. If we beseech into Trawler, we have the Skull Bomb to get back the Lotus. Oh, I don't have anything else to play on top of that. Uh, beseech into One Ring. <laughs> KCI, it's also a thing. Not equipping, huh? You got Spell Pierce in your hand? Got another thing you want to play? I assume you have Spell Pierce. Oh, it's just a Ragavan. Okay. Okay. Um... One, two, three into Wargate for Black Lotus. Triple Black find Salvagers. Not that great. I could also find Academy here because then I have two Black off Mox Opal in this. We could find Academy um, and then I could Wargate for Academy. So that's three, and then, uh, or sorry, play the land, Wargate for Academy. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 mana, which means I can put two counters on Ballista, kill Raghavan, bounce the card instruct, and then I still have two out of three black mana for Beseech. I think that's what I want to do. Green, blue white Wargate. it also works well with my uh it works well with my weather top i can't infinite mana i don't have enough white because i would have to beseech for lotus crack lotus for three black in the forge and then i don't have another way of generating white mana uh polarian academy Bunch of mana. I'm gonna sack this, bounce that, and draw a card. Because we might be able to pivot uh, what we're doing, depending on what we draw. That's the additional black source we wanted. I'm gonna put a counter on my Ballista, and then I'm going to shoot the Ragavan. And I'm going to pass. Drawn a fair number of lands this game. Which is, I guess, okay. Rest in peace, Steampunk Monkey. You want that to rip? Rest rot in hell. <laughs> rot in pieces, Steampunk Monkey. Ooh, that's kind of a funny one. Dispatch? Yo, Dispatch. I kind of love this deck. Dispatch with the third path and a skull clamp. Did I talk about this on stream? I want to build four color, um, like a four color Pyromancer style deck that plays Village Rights and Corrupted Conviction with skull clamp. That monkey didn't hurt anyone. Come on, you know that's a... You, we all know that's a lie. 
We all know this monkey did something that uh, it shouldn't have. Explosive. West Coast shit. That blows up all their artifacts. So I'm going to play this. On zero. I'm going to play my Scrubland. Then I'm going to think about what I want to do. Um, I can find the One Ring, which is pretty good. I can find Urza. I have, I could find Trawler. Trawler doesn't do anything that I want here. Uh, I could find a Draw 7. Draw 7 also kind of unnecessary. I think I want... I'm at 10. One Ring is not nothing. Is there a world where I just find salvagers? <sighs> like I could beseech for salvagers? Oh, I could just beseech for time spiral. I think I like that. I think I like beseeching for time spiral. One, two, three. Right? How much do I have? I got five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I like Besiege for Time Spiral. Cast. It's kind of funny. Sometimes in this deck, you just want uh, a Diabolic Tutor. Time Spiral. <clears throat> uh, they're dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think. It's the One Ring. Um... <laughs> Do I have rings in this build? This new build's fucking me up. We can Trawler, we can Wargate for Lotus, which doesn't do anything. I can Wargate for KCI. Does Wargate for KCI do anything? This draws, don't have a zero. I can Teleria West. I can Teleria, I can Expedition Map for Black Lotus, Wargate for Salvagers, and go off like that. Is there a way I can do this with protection? Um. No, because this cracks. I could put two mana into cracking engineered explosives, which would let me rebuy my Mox Opal. And it blows up the board if this goes wrong. I kind of like doing that. Go to play map. Go to play this. Um, I'm going to use... One and two, and I'm going to crack. Oh, I should play Trawler first. Play Scrap Trawler. They have six, but I think I should still just do it this way. Tap for eight. Oh, maybe I don't have enough mana to do this. If I do it this way. Um, Expedition. I, uh, I crack for two. No, because I can Chromatic Sphere with the Lotus. Or, yeah, yeah, we're fine. Uh, I don't think I'm doing the Engineer Explosives line, though. I don't think I need to. Teleria West. Transmute Teleria West. Find Black Lotus. Cast Black Lotus. Crack for green. Crack for a blue. Scrap Trawler is going to return the Black Lotus. We drew a Time Twister, which is kind of funny. Play Black Lotus. Uh, War, or sorry, Wargate. Uh, 
four find salvagers. Hey there. I've got a loop. Salvage. All right, great. Frost and Nick, welcome back for the 42nd month. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for all the support. There are a couple of ways that we could have killed there. I feel like that might have been... Oh. Uh, Serge messaged me and he was like, Hey, do you think, do you think that, uh, we should do try to like schedule at some point in time, uh, the food fight for Friday night paper fight, or could we, could somebody bring in for like a North 100 showdown? <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, I think we're a little past the time. <laughs> we're a little past the like relevancy. For, the, for this deck on uh, Friday Paper Fight. I mean, people would still like it, but you know, it's... When did Woe come out? Wilds of Eldraine. September 8th? <laughs> We're at least four months out. I mean, he could still do it, and people would probably, you know, laugh and clap. But, you know, that's most things that we do. Um, I'm not going to spin top in my next couple of turns. I'm just, so I'm going to get this Wizards Rockets down. This looks so weird. It looks blue. I mean, I can see the silver kind of outline, but... Egg. Scroll border is so bad. I haven't seen this in person. It does look a little awkward on Magic Online. Maybe it's better in person. Oh yeah, well there. I mean, I figured that they were like a welder deck, or something uh, like a mid range deck, artifact mid range. There's a chance defense grade isn't actually what I want to do here. I'm not going to time twist your next turn either, by the way. I'm going to uh, play this top, spin this top, and then I am going to... Oh, well, well, I think I can still take a hit, right? I can still... Because I want to I wanna do this time twister with a land drop. Having a land drop is pretty important because that's either uh, playing my academy or making sure uh, this is all trash. It's like uh, I want to play my academy or making sure I have mana for crop rotation. Oh, I want, I want an additional land drop is what I mean. You know? Like I want to be able to time twister draw my fresh seven and then play a land or play something um, <clears throat> from the, uh, the like from the draw seven that will find my academy but we're on a pretty short clock Lelia kills you quick you can you pair it up with some burn or some equipment and it's it's over very quickly
staff the storyteller hell yeah any consideration to play out my fast mana um well they're not going to counter it but they are going to potentially destroy it and i really want to have this led holy shit all right they've they've academy academy has hit the table sahili that's god i wish that were me to emery oh yeah they just dumped their hand Pyrite spell bomb is going to make sure that I die pretty quickly. Um, I feel like I'd want to crack this. Draw a card, maybe see if I can get a zero mana artifact to play off Sahili. I mean, you attack with Lelia first. Nettle Cyst. That's a good bullet to dodge. That's a reasonable bullet to dodge. <clears throat> Excuse me. God, the, the cold is messing with my sinuses. The cold is messing with my sinuses. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now I'm fucked. Okay. Oh. I'm going to play a Lion's Eye Diamond. See, this is why I've added this card to the deck. Um, because <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty fucking good. Uh, one. To who? Uh, yeah, I saw the the Lotus Petal. So I like winning games? Occasionally. I guess it depends on the deck I'm playing. Yeah, I think this card is kind of cracked. Um, I mean, I guess we can sack the Lotus. Find Salvagers. Cast Salvagers. Hey there. I've... All right. Uh, for people that aren't familiar with this kill, uh, Oriok Salvagers has an activated ability where you can pay one in a white to return an artifact that costs one or less from your graveyard to your hand, and you combine it with Lion's Eye Diamond or Black Lotus, ideally, to generate infinite mana. Then if you uh, if you have Lotus, you just have infinite mana and cards in your hand. Um, but with this, if you have LED, for instance, I have, to, I have to discard my hand, but I have Darkwater Egg as a way to... Uh, it's a one mana artifact that can draw me a card. GG's Melody to uh, turn too slow on both get times. Yeah. I feel like this matchup kind of plays out like that, where it's just like... Always just win, like win or lose on either side. Like if I get to a point where like, okay, I just need, yeah, I just need a little bit, little bit. And then I just, you know, die to like a nettle cyst burst damage or something. Uh, who's up next? Keep them coming, folks. Keep them coming. Flashcard, please fight me. Oh, are you there? Fight me, please. <clears throat> While we wait for our opponent, I could talk about some of the cards I played in Vintage. Some of the decks I played in Vintage. Some of them are pretty straightforward. Uh, oh, never mind. They're already here. Well, you'll have to wait. How do I win after infinite mana? I draw my deck using a one mana artifact that draws a card. Because it doesn't matter if I have to discard my hand over and over again. As long as it's in the graveyard, Salvagers will be able to return it. So I generate infinite mana, then I draw my deck, and then I kill them a variety of ways. There's in fact a one mana artifact called Pyrite Spell Bomb that has an activated ability where you can sacrifice it to deal two uh, to something. And that's great, because that's a card that can draw me my deck, but also just kills them with, um, you know, damage. 
Uh, I'm on the play. This is a lot of mana, but it's a lot of mana plus walking ballista. And that actually... I'm going to keep this. I got a lot of mana. And I got a walking ballista that can actually just shut down uh, a bunch of decks, right? If they mana dork on one, then we're pretty good. I couldn't help myself, and I added Shieldred and Bowmasters to my Jeskai control. I do think that Dark Jeskai is uh, a pretty underrated, like version of the deck or if you want to get really spicy i think it's four color <laughs> four color it's just guy base uh with black for you know obviously children and bow masters um maybe some other cards uh and then you play green for minsk and boo Leyline binding gets so good Yeah, just, just fuck it. Just ball, you know? Uh, Mox Diamond. Pitch this. Oh, not the Ballista. Oh, there's another deck that I wanted to play. Oh, an Australian Highlander. Seven point. Uh, I unfortunately am not super well versed in seven point anymore. Do I think I'd ever play a breach combo deck on North 100? Yes. I have to be very, like, if you haven't noticed, um, I am not the best player when it isn't combo or blue. Oh, shit. Giddy, giddy up. Uh, I don't know what I want to fetch, so I'm not going to fetch. Um, but the problem is, I can't play a ton of combo on North 100. Because people that are not as invested in Highlander as a format and more as a spectacle or something that uh, the, or Magic the Gathering that Lur plays or whatever, right? Uh, that group is not... I'm, try, I'm very, being very particular with how I word this. Uh, they are not the biggest fan... They're not the biggest fans of watching combo played. So I have to be a little careful with that. You know? If you don't have a good grasp on the format as a player, I mean, even then, you could be a player, like, you could you could be a Pro Tour Day 2 competitor in Old Robin, and maybe you don't exactly like watching combo. But especially if you're not as invested in, you know, playing the format competitively or, or getting better at the format or whatever. It's just like you don't, you don't get much from watching a combo deck go off or watching a, uh, a disruptive deck play against the combo. You know? Combo is also something that, like, is not the best second monitor content, you know? Like, you could have a mid-range mirror playing on the left side of your screen, focusing on your work, and you can look over periodically and be like, oh, shit, they played a Siege Rhino. That's a big idiot. Look away, do some work, look back, like, oh, the Siege Rhino got killed, and now they played their Tarmogoyf. Combo, it's just like, oh, they're casting a peer through depths. Oh, they're shuffling up for the next game. What happened? And that's, you know, not the best. I can see how someone would think play these two cards I win is less exciting and slowly grinding with creatures. Yeah, if it's like A plus B, I mean, I have killed with A plus B, but I've done it uh, like obviously salvagers kills. Um, but I feel like the setups in this deck, eggs in particular, uh, are a little more elaborate than like, you know, uh, uh like in, in eggs or in pod, right? I, I like these combo decks more than just A plus B. I find A plus B to be, uh, a little boring. 
Uh, not as stimulating as I would like it to be. It doesn't scratch the itch for me, you know? And so I get it, like the A plus B might be not the, the best spectacle for people, but you know. What's the identity of North 100? Second monitor entertainment, introduction of the format or additional format content, but not competitive. It is uh, supposed to be like testing, right? The best the best thing that I would equiv uh, equivocate it towards is like, it's two friends that have, that are wanting to test out a deck for a tournament, right? We are open about our decisions. We talk about what we do. Do you think this would be good? Do you think this would be bad? Should I mulligan this? What do you think if this happened? Where, like what strengths of your deck? You know, that kind of stuff. Um, second monitor entertainment. It's not second monitor entertainment. It's one, too short and two, too involved, right? I think it can act as an introduction to the format because we explain what we are doing and try to walk people through instead of just being like this, this, yeah, okay, we're done, right? But yeah, it's uh, it's not the most competitive thing in the world because that's not what the audience wants, right? I'm sure there's an audience for like, there's probably an audience if like Robin and I sat down and fucking grinded Jeskai mirrors for like three hours um but i don't know if that if that audience pays the bills <laughs> you know if somebody was starting out with highlander what kind of deck would i recommend uh i would probably recommend playing something that is uh, linear, pretty straightforward. Like you have a game plan, you stick to that game plan, but with a couple of like little kind of quirks, like gruel monsters uh, or death and taxes are great examples. Death and taxes, I like to I like to pitch death and taxes because it teaches you what to care about in the format. D and T really lets you know what you need to give a shit about. Um. I think I'm saving the Sahili. We're kind of in a dance here of like, I can animate this, and if I do, they get to exile something and make it bigger. And then I have the opportunity to kill this. I can pass priority. And then if they have an additional land, it's really bad for me. I could do this in their upkeep and get them tapped out. Three, if they draw another white source, it's so bad for me. But only on the offense, like, I think I pass. I think I pass. How do I feel about Atraxa and taxes for a new player? What? Is this? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is a spicy meme. They are playing Skrelv. Okay. Hoof's another good one too. It teaches you where, uh, how to tutor, how to like plan out your turn as far as mana goes, uh, when to pivot from being ramp to combo to mid range, that kind of stuff. Isn't death and taxes hard to pilot? Yeah, but that's the thing. I think people, here, here's my hot take. Here's a sick hot take incoming. It's okay to give people that are new to formats decks that have a higher ceiling, right? Death and Taxes is a deck that you can pick up, understand what it's trying to do, right? You are a white mid-range board control creature 
deck, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, and you are looking to restrict what your opponent is doing, right? That's easy to grok. That's easy to pick up as a new player of like, oh, play creature, swords to plowshares, their creature. And like, they might lose because they're not swordsing the right cards. They might lose because they're not keeping greedy enough hands, right? Like, that's fine. You can have a difficult deck. It's a difficult deck that, is a, that isn't as straightforward as to like what it's game, like what it's elevator pitch is, right? I wouldn't give eggs to somebody, but I could give Paradox Engine to someone, right? Somebody's like, I'm new to Highlander. I like playing combo. What do I do? It's like, great. So there's this card called Paradox Engine. Are you familiar with it? You know, like that is a totally reasonable card to pitch. Or totally reasonable deck to pitch. Even though people might be like, but I do, I'm, I'm so bad, I'm not good enough to play combo. It's like, no, you are. You might not be good enough to play something like, uh, like at this moment in time, you might not be g good enough or familiar enough to play some of the like, like a Yogwill Storm deck or uh, a uh, like eggs um, or even certain like pod decks like seeker walk stuff but you might be okay playing other seeker walk pod decks or or flash hulk or um a time vault deck or paradox uh academy because those are pretty straightforward their names kind of sell what you're trying to do <laughs> you know Ooh, gold forged thopterics lifelink mm, I could kill Skrelv here I think I'm on the I'm on the train of keep their board clear because this would get ward one which is not the end of the world or ward two excuse me which is not the end of the world but I do want to keep I could have just like untapped and then put a third counter on this card I can only see the aftermath cards as an alchemy set yeah it is a little weird seeing them in paper <clears throat> I feel like having diversity of options would be sweet. You can also use tags to allow people to customize the content. I think Vault, Flash, Hulk, Thoracle should be on North 100 at least once with a skip if you don't like it content option. If I didn't know Degenerate Combo existed, I would have never looked into Canadian, into Canlander. Yeah, I mean, we do that. We do it occasionally, right? We, the Oracle is on my short list. Time Vault's on my short list. Just like, you gotta play these A plus B decks because they exist in the format. They're an important part of the format. And like, oh shit, I'm on energy refractor. Even in the black version? Spicy. Uh, energy refractor. <clears throat> this card rules. Oh. Um. Energy Refractor, a copy of Mana Vault. Crack my Inventor's Fair. Go to do this now because I don't have it. They should have responded to me activating it by killing it. Uh, but then I could just pivot to pumping my Walking Ballista here. Um, I don't really want, I mean, Wish Claw Talisman is kind of hot. Thopter Foundry is pretty good here too. Yeah, I think I'm getting Thopter Foundry. And then I'm passing. I get to untap with a creature. I like this Walking Ballista game plan. It's been doing, it's been doing something. Has there been a noticeable uptick in Canlander interest since North 100 Showdown? Absolutely. Yeah. Tons. 
Also, there might be something coming out that'll also help the interest in the format, but I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Just gotta wait. You just gotta wait. <laughs> <clears throat> North 100's been very helpful. Uh, honestly, the stream, like the, the VODs, the Canlander VODs and the stream is helpful. Anytime we stream the year end, that's pretty big. Um... I mean, the fact that uh, the people on the Discord aren't dog shit is also nice. As people and as players, that's pretty big. <laughs> like, the fact that you can go to the Discord and, like, play against people that know what they're doing and they're talking about uh, and also are pretty reasonable human beings. Like, they're just, like, nice to talk to is, is pretty neat. There are some landmines, but you know, there always are. <laughs> yeah, I do think one thing that Canlander has really going for it is that the players are fucking great, right? It's just, I think you have to be because you just need more opponents. Like Canlander, you kind of have to not be a shithead because like you just want to play against more people. Um, You want to share your niche interest with other people you want to spread the gospel and like in order to find a match sometimes you have to go out of your way right uh uns underscore mute christ apologies for the delay thank you for subscribing to the channel and joining us glad to have you good to see you how you doing how you been <clears throat> They played Ravager. Ravager's kind of scary. If they end up having uh, another, like, artifact generating card. Ooh, they're going to muck my Tundra. Okay. Like, if they have, like, a Retrofitter Foundry, we're in a bit of a tough spot. If I draw Tolerian Academy here, it's it's Dunzo. Or if I draw um, Sword of the Meek. And Conjurer's Bobble's pretty good, too. Fine, I will play this land and I will fetch an underground sea or white green. Underground sea. Um, I guess I should start off. Technically, I should have played this uh, bobble first because I might draw a cool magic card. I like CDH players too. Uh, well, my, hold on. Let me let me be clear. I like the CDH players that I also feel would just be Canlander players too. <laughs> Oof. All right. Well, that was a pretty good draw. Yeah, it was not bad. Not bad. Based gameplay. I mean, it's at least this is turn seven. Um, I think I still want to protect Sahili. But I do get to attack with these two. I'm okay if they block the, the Ballista with the Ravager here. They get some value because it gets a modular over onto their uh, Thopter, but I I might even just try to shoot this Ravager now. Yeah, I should do this now. I should do this now before they have mana to flash. They can they can sack their Thopterics to do this, but um, this card scares me. I do like CDH. I've been playing more CDH. Um, and I hope people like watching me play CDH because there's, a uh, yeah, there's some other stuff coming on down. It's a different kind of, uh, it's a different kind of hit than Canlander, which is interesting. I kind of like it because I just play with different cards, you know? 
Like, it's just kind of fun to be like, okay. It, it, it has a lot of the same problems Canlander has, uh, has a lot of the same benefits that Canlander has. And uh, it's just kind of nice to be like, oh, uh, I guess, like, you know, I get to play with all these, these randos, like these random dog shit cards with some pretty powerful magic cards, which is nice. Yeah, the games are brisk. I need to, oh, that reminds me. I need to make a, an order to cardkingdom.com. It's in cardkingdom.com slash wheeler. Cause I need that stupid dwarf for my Magda deck. You saw Golos on my channel and then I looked into making a fun Golos EDH deck and I learned he was banned. My condolences. That card is kind of messed up, though, you got to admit. Uh, okay, so we can find Black Lotus. We have KCI. This hand's a little slow, but I like it. We got the One Ring. The One Ring plus KCI is pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, Golos is still... If you convince people, like, if you build, like, a, a monocolored Golos deck, or if you build a Golos deck and you're like, I don't have Feel the Dead and I don't have uh, Maze's End, like, is that okay? I bet you could... People would still just, like, be like, yeah, sure, whatever. Go go off. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm fetching for yet, so I'm just gonna play this egg. Typically in spots like this, I try to find Wargate, but I like Wargate mana, but it's now a little awkward when like my two biggest like color requirement cards are um, one that needs Bant and then one that needs triple black. That's kind of funny. I might need to make some additional changes to the mana for this. But the mana in this deck is so tight. You're just like fetches, duels, artifact lands, the broken lands, and then you're done. It's getting to the point where maybe the basic island is like a flex slot, which is kind of weird. But you know. <clears throat> yeah, I had mono black Golos where my two main targets were uh, Crypt of Agadim and Bazaar of Baghdad. And I was just playing the most dog shit, <laughs> like... The most dog shit, like blood. I was on like blood. I mean, some of these cards are good, but like blood ghast and ashen ghoul and friends. And it was just like, <laughs> it was so goofy. And it was so much fun. Well, that's a pretty good draw. So that finds me Black Lotus. Yeah, we got a one ring. Mono White Golos was obviously pretty fun. Because Mono White Golos just found a Maria the Sky Rune. I had Mono Red Golos that was like 70 lands with Valakut. That was pretty fun. And you would just get up to like Valakut mana. You get up to Golos mana with Valakut in play, and then you'd be like, alright, activate Golos. I'll put a Vesuva into play, copying uh, Valakut, and uh, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. The other two cards are a whiff. Or like, put Storm Cauldron into play. Ooh. Wingy <laughs> One, welcome back for the third month. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Well, thank you for being here. It's great to have you. Yeah, the Karma deck. Mono White Golos uh, that just finds Urborg and you play Karma. Hi. What is your deal? Oh. I got a Molder here. Ooh. It's some pretty impressive pressure.
How do you queue up and get your 15 minutes of fame? Oh, Genghis Prawn, I got some bad news for you. Although I would like to fight you at some point in time. Um, there's uh, a queue. And right now we have 15 people. And I'm going to be straight with y'all. I'm streaming for like another hour. And I don't... <laughs> oh, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all of them. That's a pretty good draw. <sighs> okay. Uh... Can I kill you? Can I kill you? I have six mana available and I can reshape. The problem is I'm really low on artifacts. I think I'm on land Urza Saga. I think I have to turn four with this. Um, fuck. Playing a new eggs list without having played it is so, <laughs> so tilt. Tilting's not the right word, but it is very like, shit. Okay. I can get Retriever. Is there a world where I... What does Retriever even do for me? Land, Lotus, uh, Crack Lotus, and Tap a Land to play KCI. Uh, and then play the One Ring? And then we have KCI and the One Ring in play? And then I can get LED next turn? Fuck, this is a tough turn. Um, I think it might actually just be land pass. I think it's land pass at the end of this. Like, there's no world where I... Make a token, Lotus, reshape for a, m no, there's no way. I'm just, I'm just passing. Yeah, I, no, not happening. Not happening. Without zooming in, can I go ahead and read you some of the words on this card? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Ski... BMC Tawdery Savile In the at the beginning or under you love for each bird encounter. Yeah, this is a fucking catastrophe. Ooh, CZ DZ. Ooh, CZ DZ, eh? My opponent's hand was sick. Like, it's a pretty good hand. If they were against a mid range deck, this would be great. This would have been a cool poster. Not, not a magic card. A, a poster or a t shirt or something. Don't put it on a magic card. Would it have been? I don't know. Probably. People like this shit. Teenagers play Magic the Gathering. People that got really high in high school play Magic the Gathering. In fact, some people that should have gotten really high 30 minutes ago would play Magic the Gathering. Yeah, be a, you make it like a band shirt or something.
Why didn't they attack? Why didn't they attack? Did they accidentally attack click through? I'll... I'll treat it as though I'm at six. Great, so now I have something that I have another artifact that I can sacrifice. Um Do I just get terrarium? Or wizard's rockets? Like what is I think I think I think I get Terrarium. I think I like that more than LED here. There's also Draw Skull Bomb. Oh shit, there's Draw Skull Bomb. Uh, three to Sack. Sack Retriever. Oh fuck, I forgot these loops. Oh, don't give myself a migraine. <laughs> Please. Uh, crack Lotus. Crack Draw Skull Bomb. Returning... Retriever. No trawler. Return trawler. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Not not in not not in this version. Um, I think I'm getting wizards rockets or terrarian. Actually, it's just a artifact that I can sack to draw a card. Okie dokie. Let's start doing some gross shit, shall we? Uh, can I do this without playing my land in case I draw Academy? So I can Black Lotus, four, play KCI. And I float a blue, and then I two, sack this to get Retriever and Trawler. Oh, I have to play my lands. That's fine. Yeah, I gotta play my land. I don't, I don't think I need the, the Academy. It would be nice to have the Buried Ruin, though. Crack three white. Oh, I still get the Buried Ruin. Oh, Pog. Wait, no, I don't. I can... Why do I need Buried Ruin? I don't need Buried Ruin. Sacrifice the construct. Reshape for three. Uh, sacrifice the wizard's rockets. I get trawler. No. Because I can't do the pay. Sacrifice this. This play is actually a little risky, right? If they have force, I mean, if they have force will, they're probably hitting this. Um, scrappers. All right. Sack the wizard's rockets. Uh, I'm going to target Black Lotus. Draw from rockets. Like we could draw a bunch of lands in a row and that's pretty bad. We didn't, but we could. Cast Lotus. <clears throat> Crack for three. Play the egg. Draw off the egg. Sacrifice the golden egg. Return the wizard's rockets. Play the rockets. <clears throat> I don't think this build has thought monitor in it. 
turn the Black Lotus. Draw a card from the Rockets. Play Black Lotus. Crack Lotus. Play Pirate Spell Bomb. Crack Spell Bomb. So actually, I shouldn't have played the Buried Ruin. Ooh, this is... All right, this is where it gets good. This is where it gets good. Play Sahili. Cast Lotus. <laughs> make a... <laughs> make a... Make a servo. Crack Lotus. Play the One Ring. Yeah, just use whatever mana you need. Play the One Ring. Get protection from everything. Tap. Ooh. Uh, make. Oh no, shit. Uh, I need this. Sahili. This becomes a copy of Scrap Trawler. And then we sack the one ring. And then we are going to trawler back egg. We are going to trawler back wizard's rockets. Play the rockets. Sack the rockets. I only have the lotus. If I can get like a, a lotus petal then it's, it's really, we're really cooking. I mean, I'm already cooking, but you know. Ooh, if I, I played my land for the turn. Um, We could animate our uh, Buried Ruin and we can Life Spark Spell Bomb it back to our hand. I'm going to always yield to my Sahili, I think. You know, for your health. No, I played my land because uh, of Urza Saga. I mean, okay. Now I think you should. Because now we have... Uh, the memory jar. Memory jar is pretty gross. But I mean, I can keep going as well. It is technically not 100%, just very unlikely. Unlikely. Uh, sack. I have the rockets in my graveyard. Yeah, I have rockets in my graveyard and pirates bubble. Them. Sack egg to get back wizards rockets and get back pirate spell bomb. Play the rockets. Sack this. If I brick on this draw, I think I'm going to... Oh, never mind. Yeah, okay, now we got... We got what the kids call infinite. Find the retriever, and then we're good. Now it's infi. Trawler plus retriever plus... <laughs> uh, trawler plus retriever plus KCI uh, plus Lotus plus a way to draw. Um, uh, go to pay cost. Game asks you how. KCI, retriever, trawler, uh, Lotus, one drop, and I guess you couldn't... Uh, yeah, you, you've seen this plenty of times. 
You're familiar with this. L plus ratio. Lotus plus ratio. Yeah, we can spell bomb. That can be our one. There's a bunch of ways that we can get there. We have the... We have... There are... When it comes to spots like that, the issue is very rarely, how do I kill you? It's showing your opponent, like, hey, this is going to happen. You know? Nice sweater. Thank you. However, it is a shawl. It is a shawl. Probably going to do one more with this deck and I'll switch off to something else. <laughs> God, it's so hard to quit Black Lotus. It's just, it's just so fucking good. No, this isn't a turn one kill. No, 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 no. This is a turn one play my entire hand, though. And then I can set up to kill them next turn. There are cards that we can draw that can make this a turn two kill. I don't exactly want to spin the wheel. Mox Diamond. Pitching this. I'm going to keep the Buried Ruin. Because if they Wasteland me... Then I might need to use this buried rune on stuff. Okay, here go. Yeah, we draw. We get a draw seven. We get a tutor. If we get scrap trawler, it's pretty good. What's the commander? When do we get a lure shawl? Do I have an EDH list where I play all the stuffy dolls ever? I have a couple of those. Uh, let me find them. I don't think one of them... I can't remember when I updated Ben Ben. Ben Ben has it, and then there's a... Uh, oh, that's Canadian Highlander. Uh, I have my Hackdose deck. The Hackdose deck is cool, because nobody plays Hackdose. This is my Hacktoast deck, a.k.a. Bonnie Tyler. Who I was actually listening to earlier today. And then Ben Ben. I haven't updated them for some of the most recent sets, but I usually only... Uh, I usually only update commanders uh, when I go to play them. Oh. Moon Silver Key. That lets me find KCI. Huh? Yeah. I'm just going to play KCI and pass. I don't need to go for it. I can go for it next turn. Dagovolver, uh, that's the Mardu one, or the Daga one. It's like one in a, uh, I don't actually remember the keywords. It's one in a white for a 1-1, one, one. and then the red kicker is one in a red, the black kicker's two in a black. Is it one in a black? 
to have a mana ability you could find energy refractor that, that draws a card and has a mana ability bloodthirsty adversary okie dokie <clears throat> I don't actually have a double dip the key to kill them uh, this kills you. We Sylvan Scrying for Inventor's Fair. <clears throat> I can go Scrap Trawler. How much mana do I have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sylvan Scrying for Inventor's Fair. Uh, is six, so down to eight. And that finds Trawler, which go, or we can go Wishclaw Talisman. What does Wishclaw do? Wishclaw finds Salvagers, which kills. So, we... Did I do this right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Technically, we can sack the KCI too. Sylvan Scrying for Inventor's Fair for Wish Claw for uh, Salvagers for Lotus Salvagers draw with um, Shadow Ball Egg. Okay. A little slow. This is also a nice part about playing black is that I get to play Wishclaw Talisman. Sack mm. that. Old priority, donate Wishclaw Talisman, sack it to Wish or sack it to KCI. Tutor up salvagers. Play this. Sack that. Draw a card. Get back Black Lotus. And they don't appear to have snuff out. Hey there, I've got a loop. Bomberman plus Lotus plus Egg. <clears throat> Scald? One in a red enchantment from Urza Saga. Whenever a player taps an island, it deals one damage to them. Uh... Mm -hmm. Fifth, we're talking about the Pokemon movie? What? The Pokemon movie? Pokemon the first movie? Ow. I'll keep this hand. Oh, you're talking about the Pokemon move, not movie. Scald? Uh, I don't know what modern day Scald is, because it, it got changed, right? Sc Scald, you changed, man. It's like 80% or no, 80 damage, 25 or 30% burn. 
I don't know how much PP it has. Oh. <laughs> Cut my losses for blue blue. Sorcery with casualty. Uh, target player mills half their library. <laughs> Mew was so cracked. The best swords dancer in Gen 1? Casualty what? Uh, like two or something? I don't know. Mm, I mean, I didn't play this deck to not Time Twister. I could egg. Uh, it's a little... I mean, if they shielded me, I'm, like, fucked. I think I'm just gonna twist her. I'm a deck with Black Lotus. They get to draw some, but... Uh-oh. <clears throat> this is not a very good hand. No fast mana. No tutors. I mean, there's tutor for Mo Moonsilver Key. We can Moon Silver Key into KCI, but that's a little slow. My opponent has a f full grip. How do comp players get it out from under the truck? Um, it's a good question. Usually, people that play competitive Pokemon don't have a driver's license. <laughs> yeah, I'd I'd mug in this hand if I could. This might actually be my last game. Chains of Mephistopheles, no oracle text? No fucking idea. I don't know what the written card says. Uh, if you would draw, or if a player would draw a card, oh shit, this makes me discard an artifact. If a player would draw a card outside of the uh, first card that they draw during their draw step, uh, they uh, discard a card. What would a hint help? No. Holy shit. I'm like going to die. They took the sword of them. They discard a card before doing it, and then if they uh, can't do it, then they just mill a card, and they don't get to draw. I believe I am on Moon Silver Key Pass. Oh, they're on Mardu. Interesting. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's a very straightforward, like, hey, are you trying to do this thing? Well, you have to do this instead. Yeah, or you have to do this first. And if you can't do that, then you just don't get to do the thing. You know? But it get it's it's the it's one of the original uh you know here's your Reddit gold magic cards. The Oracle text is almost identical to the printed card except for some pronoun fixing in the word mill. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah, it's very it's it's a shockingly straightforward magic card. End of turn. Cling to dust. If they have the bowmasters, we're fucked. Tainted pact. Oh my god, we might we might still be fucked. Tainted Pact? Tainted Pact on Magic Online is not that bad. I Compared to Arena. <clears throat> Are they on Triple Mox Pact instead of Triple Mox Fourth? They could be on Mox Mox... 
packed, uh, like fourth Gte. Oh, put a grief in their hand. Sure. <clears throat> Isn't it cool that one point cards might push people towards making decisions instead of just playing triple box, whatever? Oh, they well, they could be on like Mox Mox fourth tainted pack uh strip. That's kind of spicy. They could just not be on fourth. They could be like, hey. I don't need this card. How come there hasn't been a fifth Aerolingus? Just wait until uh, Modern Horizon 3. Ooh, anime dead, the grief. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Con yeah, their, their 10th point could be Comet. As in, Comet the fuck on. Do I reckon there's going to be a point where Horizon sets include mer universes beyond IP? Uh, probably not. That's just like... Not how those deals typically go down. You know? Is Kaleidos down to concession due to needing more eggs or needing more fixing? Well, that's the best part about it. It does both. You need an egg? Great. You need an egg that puts itself in the graveyard and fixes? Great. Kaleidostone is a little bit of a relic. Like, it is certainly the 100th card. Um... If they print an, and technically it's a nut. If you need, if they print a nut that's a little bit better than Kaleidostone, then like it could hop in. If I want to include another non-artifact card, like swap this for like Hull Breacher or whatever, and this can hop in. <clears throat> because we don't have rings combo in this deck, which we maybe should if we're on Beseech, but that's a that's a different story. It's a whole nother story to uncrack. Okay. Yeah, you can post just guy control. Oh, does this do anything? Does that do anything? Yes, it does. Two mana. Green and white, I guess. Draw a card. Hello, Codex Shredder. <clears throat> Um, Buried Ruin or Inventor's Fair or Treasure Vault. I think it's Inventor's Fair. Play my Codex Shredder. Mill a card. Play a Kaleido Stone. That's a good draw. Playing explosives. Sack to. Do I need to get Retriever here? 
Uh, sack two, because trawler means I would have to sack the Kaleida stone. I think I get retriever here. Sack this and sack this. Ow, fuck. Um, oh, wait, no, 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 no. I get face reward, right? Or I get wish claw talisman? Oh my god, do I get wish claw talisman? Can I get wish claw talisman? I have, I don't have a, I don't have a lot to work with actually. Hold on. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have gotten Retriever. Can I afford to get a Wish Claw? No, because I would have to cast it. In order to cast it, I would have to crack this and I can't crack this fucking Kaleido Stone. Uh, I think I got to get Mirror Retriever. I think this was too expensive. I think the crop rotation here should have just been Buried Ruin. So I'm not floating any. Yeah, I think I screwed the pooch on this one. We still have draws that can get us there. This wizard's rockets is like a superhero. <laughs> no, not the pooch. Anything but the pooch. Yeah, I should have sacked the wizard's rockets. That, that was bad. I, I, I screwed up with the, with the line here. We could, I mean, we could always draw something to dig ourselves out of this grave. Uh, we did not. Damn, this was tough. Uh, I will be at Amsterdam. Yep. Why'd you have to bring up Kaleidostone? Now I'm looking at this Kaleidostone thinking like, why am I playing this Kaleidostone? <laughs> if it were a guild globe, it would have been great. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sand rules. All I want to do is make you question your choices, but why? <laughs> why? Why? But why? Oh, I'm going to be thinking about that turn. Five o'clock. Yeah. Why Kaleido Stone? Why? Play the Rockets. Play out this Mox Opal. Pass. Jet. Hot seat. They could take Spell Bomb. Taking, th taking Sword of the Meek's not the most exciting thing to take. Favorite egg type? In game or in real life? Because my answer may surprise you. IRL? I like a soft poached egg. Big fan of soft poached eggs. Don't know if I'll make Amsterdam or Chicago for sure. I will be in Chicago. I will be at Magicon Chicago. For the blood grip. Is there hand a... Uh... They have like a Darcy? Or they just didn't want to... They clicked. They could have clicked on Badlands and... Because it's Badlands blood grip usually. I have never had a Scotch egg. My favorite Odyssey egg is... What? Oh, I had scotch eggs once. Jesus Christ, Kiefer. Oh, need to go, GG's. Oh, no worries. GG's WP. Sorry for playing. Slow deck. 
Dang. Uh, we were going to play Sword of the Meek, and then next turn we were going to Teleria West into Urza. Just lie to us? No, it must. I've only had it once, and it was so forgettable that it barely counts. Right? Um, okay. I'm actually going to call it there because Kiefer and I are heading off to uh, a family dinner. Um, and we get to do the... I get to act like I'm back in college um, because I'm going to get really high and then I'm going to go and bring my laundry to my parents' house because... <laughs> Because my washing machine is broken right now due to the due to the freeze. Um But yeah, Canadian Highlander. Uh I do like the changes. I think obviously we talked about this a lot. I think there are some other changes that need to be done to the format. Uh, but you know, you could still you can still have your fun. You can jam a lamb. When you get two high powered decks slam against each other, it's it's a lot it's great. There is some disparity. There's more disparity between the top tier and like below that. But, um, you know, that's something that we can work on. And uh, the council are excited. You know, we're excited to hear what people think and and how these changes have uh, been impacted. And this is a great time to test them because uh, if you didn't know, there's an all access pass that is up until Tuesday. Um which is cool and good. If I have time to do another Canlander stream, like, I don't know when on Tuesday it's going till. Until Tuesday, 10 a.m. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do another one because I am... Uh, th there's a PPR coming up and my filming is just... It's a lot. There's a lot. I'm very busy, boy. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Cardcam.com sponsor the channel. If you want to play Canlander outside of this or other formats, you can use the Mana Traders link there uh, with that coupon code and the referral link. Uh, if you want to watch other Canlander VODs or whatever, you, other VODs in general, you can check out uh, the YouTube channel there. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to drop your kids off somewhere. Again, not streaming tomorrow. Uh, because, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? It's technically my day off, but I think I have to film content with stuff that I can't talk about. So you know what? Go watch some Cube. And I'll for sure see you on Tuesday. Okay, bye. Have a good one.